bowls every day for cooking and serving, but here to dish up something a little different, DIY expert Christian Dare joins me. Hello, Steve. I'm pretty good. So you've brought like your whole kitchen here. I mean, I don't have this many bowls in my kitchen because I don't really cook, but um, <laughs> I do do other things with them. So what do you think we're making today? I feel like we can turn these over and have an amazing drum set. <laughs> Your kids would love it. Yes, they would. <laughs> you wouldn't love it. Mm, no, I wouldn't love it, but they would love it. But we're actually making designer lighting. Designer lighting. On the cheap. Okay, so you look at the bowls, and I mean, I have a bunch of these IKEA bowls at home. Yeah. Uh, we use them all the time. There's usually potato chips in there. Yeah. But you turn them all around, and you can make this. Look at that, it's a lighting fixture. Isn't that beautiful? And I've priced out lighting fixtures like this at designer stores. Yes. $800, $900, $1,000. Unbelievable. This for under 40 bucks, you can make it. Under 40 bucks. Yep. I will take that. Yes. Much better. $800. If you already have extra chip bowls, it's all, even cheaper, right? That's you're right. Not if you're on bowls. a diet, <laughs> take that chip bowl, turn it into a exactly. light. Exactly. So, so there's a couple start? steps for us to do. First thing we need to do is we're going to have to drill holes in our bowls. Okay. Which is easier than you think. So, but the tricky part you want to do is first you want to mark off the center. Mm -hmm. So I use a tape measure, found my exact center. You want to use tape because then you can also make a mark on it. And sometimes bowls are slippery. Yes. So like the drill bit, so just make a little center part after you've measured it. The first thing you want to do is actually use a smaller drill bit. Okay. To just pre-drill it. Mm -hmm. Because what happens when you've got this sort of big drill, because I tried it, I'll tell you it's true, it sometimes moves around. Right. On the bowl. So then you yeah. drill it through. I've had that happen to me on the show, it's like terrifying. Yeah, it's terrifying, it goes <laughs> everywhere, it's dangerous. It go straight and in. And then, da, 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 you can drill your hole. Magically, it's Magically. Done. Okay, and it's not, I mean, the, the bowls are not that thick, so it's no, not. No, the bowls are not thick, it's actually really easy. It took yeah. me like maybe 30 seconds to go through the bowl at the most. Perfect. Very, very easy. And usually you can clean off the edges with just a little sandpaper if there's little bits of metal still kicking around, but they usually come all the way out. Okay. So then the next thing you need to do is go to a hardware store yeah. and get some lamp parts. Okay. So there's all sorts of assorted lamp parts out there, easy to find at any hardware store. The one thing you're gonna need to find though is, it's called a 10 inch threaded nipple. It's called a threaded nipple? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just five years old, sorry guys. Yeah, I don't know why, but what yeah. I'm using is, you, I know you shouldn't go to Home Depot and say, can you show me where the nipples are? <laughs> It causes lots of confusion in the lamp section. Head to lighting. How have I never heard that before? Because I was actually going to ask you when you showed the bowl, do we need to know what those things are called? Yeah, but so you need to know. They so come in multiple the right sizes. Part. So these are sort of the shorter ones, usually for ceiling pendants. Okay. But we're actually going to use one that's designed for a table lamp. Okay, good. Because we want a longer ceiling pendant. And then you, All right. you can find sort of assorted lamp parts there. What they've got is sort of little connectors, little washers, like all sorts of different ones. It's yeah. not that tricky. Okay. All right. So you've gotten all of your parts. You've gotten through it without giggling. Right. And now it's time to We're put it build. all together. Let's Are you excited? Yeah, let's build it. So what you want to do, and I've set you up right there. Do we need to spray paint it first, though? Oh, spray paint it. Oh, my God. So Because sorry. that's a beautiful gold <laughs> color. Yes. So all the bowls come in a certain color, silver. Yeah. You actually can spray paint them. So when you're spray painting them, do it after you've drilled through. Yes. You can see I also did black bowl for Tracy. Oh, this is so do nice. um, different colors, right? Yeah. So matte spray paint it. Matte black is very cool. Spray paint it. Make sure you're spray painting it outdoors. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're using a face mask. For sure. You don't want to breathe those fumes in. Yeah. And let it dry. Make okay. sure also when you're spray painting, you go a few light coats. Because yes. you don't want that running spray paint, right? And make sure you're at least like 12 inches away so you get that nice finish. Very good. Okay, now okay. let's build a sucker. Okay, so take your nipple. Okay. <laughs> I've actually put on a Got couple pieces already, just so it's easier for you as we're doing it on TV. Yes. But basically what we're going to do is you're going to take... Am I holding mine the right way? You are. You're okay, holding yours the right way. Just so checking. what you're going to take, and you can't screw this up. You can make it any way you want. Are you sure? Yeah. So you make the smaller bowl this way. Yeah. Upside down. Okay. Your bigger bowl on top. As we line up. Come on, nipple. Okay. And then you're going to take your washer. Okay. Put this one in there. Good. And tighten. Okay. Actually, this is pretty easy. It's super easy. So you put the washer all the way on, so that's all what I've on. done there. So you get this guy. What you're gonna add, so you can flip your guys over. Yeah. This is actually a ceiling medallion. Oh, that's nice. So you can get these in multiple colors. You're just gonna yeah. slide yours right down. And I'm, am I sliding it down this way or this way? This way? Okay, yeah. this way. And then I've actually added another small bowl on top of mine. Look at that, guys. That so was so easy. That's perfect. 
So, very last trick to light it. That's really nice. You get a lighting kit from Ikea. Yeah. Very simple. It actually just threads right through your light. That will, those little lighting kits, you basically make anything into a light. You can make but anything into a light. This is the best so very thing easy. you found. Look yeah. at this bulb. So I got these guys at CB2. Isn't that beautiful? It's a gold tip bulb. Oh, if you have an exposed bulb anywhere, yeah. like we have them out on our front porch, yeah. this is the kind of yeah, bulb Yeah, so it's you great. Want. You get like the shiny gold, the matte brass, Gorgeous. the black. Beautiful. And I have them in like a, separate, like a series of three or two or three. It would be great. Do you have any more? I want to steal them. You can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> get all the instructions at cityline.tv, uh, our little lighting genius over here.